A CMSD art teacher with a 3D printer at John Adams wanted to do some good. He mentioned that to his friend, a fellow teacher at Lincoln West. And now a student born with no arms and no hands is experiencing life in a whole new way just in time for college. Hear why these teachers came together and learn more about this remarkable student who has inspired his peers and teachers all across the district. 19-year-old Christopher Nelson studied hard throughout high school, graduating eighth in his class. I like to work hard. I make sure I don't like, miss any of my work. A very, very astute student in my class, uh, quiet uh, and likes to work hard. When he's not working hard on assignments, he's working on his art. Christopher began drawing with his feet in sixth grade. Now he takes requests, creating impressive sketches in just minutes, like this Kyrie Irving portrait. People also think, like, how can he draw that good with his feet? Like, I can't do that with my hands. He makes it look easy. Though Christopher has no arms and no hands, he has plenty of determination. My first day in the cafeteria, I said, Chris, let me open that milk carton for you, because you can understand how hard that would be for Chris to open a milk carton. He said, no, Mr. Wasco, I got it. I got this milk carton. And he bit it open. He can text off a cell phone. This kid is such an inspiration, and to see all the drawings, for the last three years, Chris has brought me drawings almost on a weekly basis, and they adorn my office, and I tell all the other kids, if he can do it with his toes, you, there is nothing that you can't do. Chris is that type of inspirational kid. An inspiration not just to fellow students, but to adults, too. When an art teacher with a 3D printer at John Adams heard about Christopher, he knew he wanted to help. Well, I found designs for the 3D printed prosthetic arm online and started putting one together just as a test. And once I got it done and knew I could do it, I started looking for some way that we could make it useful to someone in the district. Mr. McLaughlin uh, and I have known each other since high school. Uh, we grew up together. We went to college together. He mentioned, oh, yeah, I'd really like to make a 3D printed arm and actually like do some good with this. And I said, you know what? I have just this student in our school for that. I took a little bit of time to go over to Lincoln West myself, and I met Chris, and he just really impressed me as a person. And he seemed like someone that would be really good to work with, so we decided to move forward and took some measurements, and I brought that information back here and just started working on taking the designs from what we found online and making them actually work for something that would fit him. There were a few fittings and a whole lot of trial and error. Some of the pieces of the arm take up to 15 hours to print. The whole process lasted a few months, but it worked in time for the end of Christopher's senior year, like a graduation gift that yeah. will keep on giving. To see that everything that I'd been doing actually was beneficial to him and that he was excited about it was just a relief for me and really exciting to see him making use of it. I really wanted it to work. Um, I, was, I was ecstatic, I was ecstatic. Christopher says he plans to use the arm often in the future as he begins studying computer sciences at Tri-C, but he'll keep drawing with his toes and inspiring everyone with his heart. People say you, you ain't gonna make it, but I tell them I do, and I also show them. At graduation, Christopher also received the Lincoln West Excellence Award. The staff said it was a very easy decision to nominate him. For more stories like this, visit the CMSD News Bureau online at clevelandmetroschools.org slash news. Reporting from the CMSD TV studio, I'm Shannon Kantner.